From the Fox 43 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Danielle Miller with an update to your weather smart forecast. And in particular, we're tracking the tropics. We are approaching the peak of hurricane season. Technically, that falls on September 10th, and the tropics are definitely acting pretty busy. Now, there are two main storms that I am keeping my eye on. The first, of course, has been in the news for a bit of time now. It's going to continue to be. That's going to be Hurricane Lee. The second storm we're keeping an eye on is Tropical Storm Margot. Both storms out in the middle of the Atlantic. Right now, both storms are just fish storms, so they're not impacting anybody. But uh, there's something that we're going to want to keep an eye on. So let's talk about these storms. First, let's talk about Lee. This is the bigger storm that is the stronger storm. It is the storm that briefly was a Category 5 major hurricane later on uh, last week or yesterday or so. Today, that storm is a little bit weaker compared to where it was, but still definitely very powerful, and it does look like it's becoming a bit more organized compared to when it started to decrease in intensity yesterday. Winds as of the 5 p.m. advisory on Saturday are at 115 miles per hour with winds gusting to 100 and 40 miles per hour. Now, this storm in particular encountered a little bit of wind shear in the past two days or so. And wind shear is when you've got winds at different levels of the atmosphere that are going different speeds. And what that does to a storm is it kind of breaks it apart a little bit, especially when it comes to hurricanes. They like to be symmetrical. And what that wind shear did was kind of break it apart a little bit. You can see it's pretty hard to find the eye looking just at satellite right now. So it's definitely not looking quite as impressive as it was previously on in the week, but it could strengthen a little bit more as some of that wind shear starts to decrease. And that's what the National Hurricane Center is forecasting likely back up to a category four strength really doesn't matter too much. The storm powerful major hurricane over the next couple of days. Here's the good news. As the storm is traveling to the west northwest, it stays north of Puerto Rico. It stays north of all of these islands of the Caribbean. So they're not going to feel much direct impact from the core of this storm. Likely those areas seeing some rough surf as well as some issues when it comes to riptides. Uh, but thankfully, again, the biggest impacts from the storm are staying out to sea. Now you will notice in this path here earlier on in the week, this path continued staying off to the west. Now we're starting to see that recurve up to the north, which keeps it out of the United States and uh, keeps it out to sea. So we like to see that trend in that forecast path from the National Hurricane Center. So that is something we're going to keep an eye on. Let's talk about the upper level pattern here. Why is it going to recur? Well, a cold front headed our way is actually the reason why. So we're thankful for this. Up in the upper levels of the atmosphere, we're going to fast forward into next week or so. We've got a, a ridge of high pressure out in the Atlantic, and we've got an incoming dip in the jet stream. We call that a trough in meteorology. And that trough and that dip in the jet stream is going to help keep that storm off to sea and eventually keep it going to the north. So Bermuda needs to keep a close eye on this system. New England, far parts of Maine, as well as parts of uh, eastern Canada need to keep an eye on this system just a little bit. But from the southeast U.S. here in the, the mid-Atlantic, we are looking pretty good when it comes to this setup. Now, if you know anyone headed down to the beach in the next week or so, we're also going to have to be mindful of that rip current risk or maybe some rough surf for most of this week as the storm is churning off in the Atlantic. So that's something that we're going to keep an eye on uh, when it comes to Lee. Let's take a look at some of the models paths for this storm. This is what we call spaghetti models in meteorology. Basically, every single one of these lines is a different computer model. It's a different solution to what could happen to the center of the storm. So this line is just marking where the center could be. And over the next couple of days, these lines have it continuing off to the west northwest, as does the National Hurricane Center. And one thing to note, we like when all of these computer models are close together, that means all of the computers are in really good agreement of what could happen. Once they start to spread apart, that means we've got tons of solutions, and that's when the forecast gets a little bit uncertain. So we've got some nice certainty as we go on over the next couple of days. Then, as we transition and we go on into the later parts of the week, let's take this over to uh, the end of next week. As we go on that way, you can see most of these computer models continue to shift that storm to the north. You can see the storm is going to be just west of Bermuda. So Bermuda really keeping a close eye on the system, as well as parts of New England and parts of eastern Canada. Because just the slightest shift to the west, of course, could bring a little bit more of those impacts up into the northeastern U.S. or uh, as well as parts of Canada. So something to watch there. Again, here in south central Pennsylvania, I'm not anticipating any direct impacts from Lee.
Again, if your travels take you to the coast in the next week or so, be mindful of that rip current risk as well as some higher surf levels. So that's the latest when it comes to Lee. Let's talk about that other storm in the Atlantic that we're keeping an eye on, and that would be Margo, Tropical Storm Margo. As of the 5 p.m. Saturday update, winds of 45 miles per hour, gusting to 60 miles per hour. You can see the storm not looking quite as organized on satellite this evening, and the storm not forecast to have many impacts, really. Let's take a look at this forecast path. It has gradually strengthening as we go on over the next couple of days, maybe a Category 1 hurricane through the middle of next week, but it stays out to sea, no issues there. Just remember that the peak of hurricane season typically happens around mid-September, so that's something we're going to keep an eye on. We are no strangers to tropical impacts here in South Central Pennsylvania. Fortunately, it does look like these two storms will stay out of our hair, but of course, we'll continue to keep you updated. You can always find the very latest on fox43.com, our Fox 43 app, or on any of our streaming platforms. Thanks so much for tuning on in. Have a great day.